station, you know? And, and here's the thing I kept asking Jared. I was like, Jared, do you remember uh, if your father was at your birth? And uh. he couldn't remember. He's like, no. And I think back. I can't remember my dad there. I'm pretty sure I think my mother was at my birth. I would assume, but I can't remember it. So, you know, I'm pretty sure your kid would be like, hey, you weren't at my birth because you're out representing the United States of America in the Olympics. Yeah, I'll let that one go. But that's me, though. Everyone's different. I don't know. Some kids get old grudges. I don't know. I, if that doesn't show you the American pride right there, I don't know what will. Right? <laughs> so, Jake has a Twitter handle, Jake at JakeHerbert84. Follow him. He will interact with you. That's how I was able to get him for some interviews and much, much more. Jake, is there anything else you want to tell our lovely listeners? No. They said I love you guys. for support. Hey, get in there. Like I said, parents and, parents and, you know, and future parents. You want your kid to be a better person, get them in wrestling. It teaches discipline. It teaches self-respect. It teaches to hold yourself accountable for your work, for your actions. It makes you, it makes you better. It does. Wrestlers are better people. They are. There's one plane, one plane when the 9-11 happened that, that went down that didn't make it to its target, and it was taken down by a bunch of wrestlers. All right? That stuff happens. Um, and, and I'm telling you guys, it's the greatest sport in the world. We're the last gladiators, we're the last people, and there's something different about us. We're not normal. It's not normal to want to work out with an injured knee. It's not normal to want to run from the throw up. It's not normal to want to beat somebody and break their will. It's not normal, but it makes you better because you experience that. You're on both sides. It's humbling, and it's empowering, and when you're strong, you take care of the weak. When you're young, you take care of the old, and that's what the sport teaches you. And these are lessons you learn on the mat that you cannot learn in a classroom, that you'll never learn with football, that you'll never learn with baseball, that you'll never learn with basketball. You know, it, it happens. So I encourage you guys, support your local youth program, support these guys, find these guys, find Coleman Scott, you know, find guys on, on Twitter, find Mark McKnight, find local heroes in your town, follow them on Twitter, interact with them, the great people. Tell Kyle Dake that his self-proclaimed mentor, Jay Kermit, says hi. Tell him that on Twitter. He'll like it. <laughs> Where did you come up with that? Uh, well, he was like one of my workout partners over in London. So um, he takes me over, and I go to this clinic, and I always want, I want kids to, to know everything. Okay, I'm like, hey, you should be a student of sport. I want you to know who the, who the three, four-time NCAA champions. Who are they? Name them. Pat Smith, Cal Sanderson, Kyle Dake. And they all imagine, oh, Kyle Dake won four NCAA titles. He can probably beat your butt, Herbert. Kyle Dake was 165 pounds. I'm 200 pounds. I'm on run. He's my, I'm a self-proclaimed mentor. He's a great kid. I, I, I mean, the guy is awesome. Uh, I'm a big fan of him. He's got a bright future ahead of him. You know, to win four titles at four different weight classes, that'll never be done again. That'll never be done. That's like an NBA basketball team winning with just two guys on the court, you know, against the whole team of whatever it's five or seven. I don't even know how many people play. <laughs> but it, that, that, that should be more than what it is. I mean, it, it, it's, you know, he, he can't get enough for doing that. It's, it's huge. And, and that guy's a role model. That guy, you know, he does all the right things. He, he, he gets a good grades. He went to Cornell University. He's somebody I look up to, you know, as his self-proclaimed mentor. But uh, he, he's a great guy. And, and you want your parents, you want your kids to be like Kyle Dake. If you're a wrestler, you want Kyle Dake to date your sister. Believe me, he's a great guy. All right, Jake, if we need you again, will you make another guest appearance? Absolutely, Danny. Anytime. You let me know as long as the schedules work. Absolutely, Jake. You have a great time, and thanks for tuning in to Radio Nova. We're going to get back to the music right now. And that's how we do it, Jake.